today I am talking to you giving you the ultimate working from home guide and this is purely based on experience I've been working from home for over two years now now this is obviously well before covid well before the pandemic so I know a thing or two about how to get yourself really comfortable at home and working this video is structured in terms of routine maintaining a good routine and how to do that and how I do it hopefully you can take some tips and tricks from that what to wear obviously you need to be looking presentable feeling motivated and all of that and then lastly how to look after your mental health not to overwork because it is statistically proven that when you work from home you actually work more than you would do or than you should do that's a good thing and a bad thing you have to get the balance right so we're going to touch on those things today now if this is your first time on my channel welcome i am Olene, and on this channel we talk all things fashion sustainable fashion lifestyle we review accessories and we do unboxings etc so if that's your thing definitely consider sticking around yeah let's be buddies subbies i don't know whatever you call it let's be that let's 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 do it <laughs> working from home is a great thing especially when you love your routine and how you're doing it and what you're doing if you love that i know when it comes to just having a good routine in place it can be a bit tricky especially if you live with other people first thing in the morning for me actually my day starts the day before i write a to-do list on what i want to do tomorrow i'm not a morning person so when i wake up my brain is 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 lagging and so th that is not the time to start figuring out what do i want to do today what should i tackle first it's better to do it the day before honestly it's made my life so much easier it makes my life my day and everything about what i'm doing more productive and more concise obviously things come up and you just add to your to-do list but definitely have something that will kick start you in the morning and you're ready to just jump into your day i work from my bed in the morning now i know there's a lot of videos out there to say don't spend the day in pajamas get up freshen up etc and all of that is very true but what i have found works for me is working from my bed and so that means i literally get up uh, wash my face brush my teeth and then grab my laptop from the side pillow myself up on this on the back and then platform up my my laptop i'm mentioning that i work first thing in the morning i do what i need to do i make sure i do them from my room i have chosen that place because it it's what works for me if i come here to work i honestly struggle in the sense that if someone comes in the kitchen i can literally spill here everything they're trying to do there's a tv here there's the sea like ships are going like for me it's just so much distraction so i genuinely prefer working from my room and i find that that works even during the day i will come here make food eat and head back to my room because that's where I can concentrate and literally get into the zone. And if that works for you, it's okay. I know people advise, do this and do that, dress up, do, like get yourself. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't have to just because it's been working for somebody else. Obviously, I make sure I look presentable. I don't wear makeup when I'm working from home, personally. You may feel you need to touch up, but don't do things that will you won't be able to keep up if you know you're not going to be able to put makeup on every day a certain level of makeup on don't do it keep to a routine that you can maintain you do not have to dress up suit up to get yourself in the mood because most of the times that is not sustainable you cannot keep doing that and so the day you fail or the day you do not do that or you're unable to keep up with that you feel so bogged down and you ruin your day you don't need that you don't need that mm -mm. definitely try and stick to the routine that you would normally keep to when you're in the office and that means if you take a break at 10 at 10 o'clock take a break if you can if you are the type who went on lunch with friends all the time plan with your colleagues to take lunch around the same time if you can and just be on zoom or on facetime together or just a call whilst you're having a break or lunch together it helps to maintain that unity in your team it really really does take your lunch times you know take a break take a walk grab a coffee grab a cup of tea grab some water get up don't just be bogged down because honestly you will end up overworking and you will get tired you know you will run out of steam eventually now of course there are times where 
extra hours extra work is needed to be put in but don't let that be a thing always and i think you need to monitor that and the best way to do it is to keep to the same routine that you do when you're in the office take that break it really does help you to freshen up to loosen up you really need to give your body some little healthy stretches right when it comes to timings definitely definitely aim to start early or earlier than you are supposed to or at least at the very least aim to start on time so all your waking up washing face looking presentable should happen well before your start time if you start early you feel a step ahead so that's a good feeling to always have and to maintain and for days that you cannot start early start on time you know it really helps to get you feeling and being confident about managing your workload and i would also say you know when it comes to finishing on time aim to finish on time aim to finish on time so you don't you don't end up overworking again unless you need to it shouldn't be a habit if you make overtime a habit you're doing something wrong in terms of how you're managing your workload if you're constantly not able to take a lunch break or to take a break even a 15 minute break it means there's something going on in the way you're managing your workload personally what motivates me whenever i feel like oh i don't have enough time or i can't do something i really do honestly always imagine some of the big people that i know presidents uh, ministers or people that i know that i know they have high positions they have the same time as me so i should be able to achieve things and still be productive and still be healthy and still be progressive in other areas of my life like family friends whatever else hobbies modest sisters uh, without feeling like i have to neglect something obviously if you have family if you have kids i do believe it's slightly different but i do think it all boils down to planning the day before as well and also don't take on too much onto yourself and i think that will really help to have a routine that is healthy and consistent going on to clothes because obviously my sisters wouldn't be a video without touching on clothes personally i cheat I do cheat, I do cheat, I cheat, I cheat. When I say cheat, I mean that I dress my upper body up because if I have to jump on a video, if I have to jump on a call, you know, this is what you, this is, you don't even see all of this. You probably see this, you know. So I would definitely say cheat, you know. Um, have on the side ready a little blazer, a little whatever you can throw on to make yourself look a bit more formal if you need to i like tops that are somewhat shiny or they're a delicate material or they give you a vibe of formal little camis are really nice because they're buildable and i like my cowl necks i like my square necks because we all know we're working from home but we still it's important to maintain a certain level of professionalism yes everybody understands that you're working from home so things wouldn't be as they usually are in the office but you don't want to take the mick as well do you get what i mean do you get what i mean yeah choose what you wear intentionally and let it be simple but it has very good detail little things count attention to detail is key now this is an area personally i'm also lacking and i'm going to be working on now and that is dinky jewelry jewelry i think if especially if it's really thin ones and really delicate looking ones if i was to place a really thin necklace on here it would really just elevate everything now i've got some bracelets and i'm not really consistent with jewelry i'll be very honest and that's because i love earrings but i don't wear them because every time i do they itch and i know that's because my earlobes i guess are saying uh -uh, to some of these cheap earrings that i keep buying they're allergic or reacting to the metal and i need to figure out which metal works for me if i could wear earrings honestly earrings will make such a big difference but bracelets do as well and little necklaces that are really really thin they make a difference and so definitely that can be another way to elevate whatever you're work whatever you're wearing whilst working from home if you're struggling with what to wear and if you're thinking about what to buy definitely this is the time to now perhaps think about buying quality over quantity because you're not under any pressure because you're not wearing clothes all that often and so you can afford to perhaps splash on something that you would usually consider too pricey and that can be in your basics now your basics can be as fancy as you can afford or as simple as you want them to be but just make sure they're good quality because then they last longer and they are more presentable and they feel great when you wear them so in your shopping if you're struggling with what to buy during this pandemic definitely focus on clothes that are 
they have detail at the top here because that's what's mostly going to be seen upper body detail is what's important so dresses maybe with shoulder detail with neck detail tops with some kind of detail over here or square necks and um, puffy shoulders or something that is not too dramatic but obviously suitable for whatever work sector you are in what i'm trying to say is focus on upper body detail when you're shopping if you feel that you need to shop keep to clothes that are not tight so perhaps consider shopping in loungewear sections and then build those things up or consider buying loose fitted stuff free stuff dresses uh, skirts that are not bodycon or trousers that are not high waisted and and tight because you're at home you don't really need to be so you don't need to be sucked in if that makes sense that will help you slowly but surely start building a wardrobe that is season friendly covid friendly work friendly comfort friendly the works everything i have rambled but i think in there in there somewhere i'm sure there are things that are been helpful and so on that note i'm out <laughs> and i will see you in my next video i post weekly and i talk about fashion as i said before sustainable fashion we talk about lifestyle here as well and we do some reviews on accessories etc so if that's your thing definitely consider subscribing and comment below any other pointers that you have experienced working from home that may be helpful to other people watching this video any questions any suggestions comment them down below until next time, I'll see you guys later.